Welcome to another episode of Golden Nuggets Tea and Tales. This is season one, powered by Huspy, served by Maria. Maria, we're going to have a conversation now about social media. So Definitely. we're very opinionated on how social media mm -hmm. works and works for you and can work against you. So um, one thing that we both got in common is we're definitely putting ourselves out there yeah. on social media. You've just started going into the podcast yeah. um, uh, space. Yeah. And, uh, but more like solo podcasts. So where you're yeah. kind of um, one person podcast, whatever they're called. And um, it's something that is, it's not a trend. It's not a fad. It, a lot of real estate agents have to get onto social media to get out there. Now, I know that the top, top agents in Dubai and maybe around the world don't really need no. to be on social media because ultimately you get yourself a, a, a roster of loyal clients and they're going to refer you for life. So yeah. you don't need to go you viral. To. You're yeah. already viral in business. Mm -hmm. But for anyone that's just getting started or anyone that doesn't have that network or isn't meeting these people at, um, you know, through introductions, they're going to have to put themselves yeah. out there somehow. And yeah. it starts with social media. Yeah. I think as well, um, the, the agents that don't put themselves out there and they've built up their business, I think they don't need to. Yeah. And I think back in the days, maybe agents that have been in Dubai 10 years, 15 years, they don't need to do that. They yeah. can put the odd post here and there. Mm. And I guess back then it wasn't so competitive mm. to what it is now. Mm -hmm. Now, it, there are so many agents, it, the market is saturated. Mm -hmm. Not only agents, but real estate agents opening. Mm. So... Yeah. What it, I think people need to put themselves out there for people to say, oh, I like her mm. or I like him. Mm -hmm. I might, you know. Might do business with Yeah, them. might do business with them. Because, or I might send them a message. Yeah. You know, they, they're talking, they're not talking crap. They, they look presentable. I like what, they're, what they've got to offer, mm. how they're, you know, yeah. showing themselves. So I think, and I think as well, we're living in that day and age where mm. social media is, it's not like back. Back 10, 15 yeah, years yeah. ago, we didn't have to do any yeah. of this. No, we've been real estate agents without social media. Yeah. Even without the internet. I, I was a real estate exactly. agent without the internet at one point. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and, and by no means are we trying to pass ourselves off as social media experts because no. we're not. But sh let's just talk about our learnings mm. and our tales and our lessons and our tea <laughs> um, that we have discovered um, and it's not just about the time that we've spent. We've spent a lot of money, a lot of money. and maybe made a couple of mistakes um, on social media. So if for anyone that's like listening to this, if we can help maybe save them some money yeah. or give them some advice on what we've learned yeah. from social media. What so. I've learned, Sylvia, I think is obviously I do believe in social media. I do believe in branding yourself. Mm. Whoever you work with, at the end of the day, people buy into you. Yeah. Maria, Sylvia, mm -hmm. whoever, you know. Firstly, I feel... You need to brand yourself and get yourself out there, get mm -hmm. noticed. What does um, that look like, branding yourself? Uh, How does a real estate agent decide, right, I want to be this brand? Uh, for me, I think choose your area mm -hmm. and stick to that. Right. Find your passion. Is it off plan? Is it secondary market? Is it short term lets? Is mm -hmm. it whatever it is, you mm -hmm. know, or luxury real estate? Stick to that brand. Mm. But everyone's going to say, oh, I, I want to be a luxury agent because that's where the... But everyone wants to be luxury. And right. then when they get into luxury, they realise it's not as, you know, yeah. I think it's, um, you know, for me, you start at the bottom and you go up. Mm -hmm. That is the best way mm -hmm. of getting into luxury. Um, but yeah, I guess that is a tricky question, I guess, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because how do you brand yourself? Yeah. Just find your niche and, you know, is it colours? Mm -hmm. Is it your style? Mm -hmm. what, how you talk? How you yeah. present yourself? Is it podcasts? Is it going out in the streets talking to... It's what you you're know, known for. What like, you're known for. I've got Sarah Abu Talib coming on the show and she's... It's as simple as she's known for saying, oh... Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like... And I look forward to watching her reel yeah. to hear her say, oh... So she's now, you know, that's, yeah. that's like her slogan or, you know, so you have to have something. But that's, that's how she talks. Yeah, and exactly. And people liked it or people picked up on it. So now she's playing on yeah. it. So you are... There's only one you. Exactly. So you've got to kind of just elevate what it is about you. 100%. And you are a London girl. I'm a London through. girl and I can't change. What you see is what you get yeah. with me. I've tried to <laughs> sit there and be all this posh and, mm. you know, and all of that. It doesn't, it doesn't work. work, you know. Yes, I can be well spoken. Mm -hmm. I am a London girl, though, mm. you know, and I'm proud of my roots. Yeah. I'm really proud of my roots and I'm proud to be in Dubai yeah. and doing what I'm doing. But 
unreal. Yeah. What you see on my on my you know Dubai with Maria is exactly how, is she exactly is. how I am. Yeah. You know, me and you mm. will we'll finish this and we'll yeah. go off there and, and we'll be, be I'll be exactly the same. Yeah. And I think that's what I think you should be is be authentic yeah. and be real. And it doesn't matter if you screw up. Mm. It doesn't matter if you don't say something. I think mm. that's more engaging yeah. than sitting there and being this fake fake person. Yeah. Because I'm sure you do, Sylvia. You see people that you know and you mm. think that's not her. Yeah, that's not him. <laughs> yeah. Why are they behaving like that? Yeah. Nah. Be and yourself. I love it when I see when I see that similarity from real life to so you know translated onto social media. Yeah. So I think that's the number one. Well, not the number one. The first piece of advice Be is yourself. work out who you are. Yeah. Like you already know who you are, but what bits of your um, personality are you going to level up? Are you just going to? turn up a notch yeah don't try and change your accent don't try and change don't try your and be look. like anyone else and don't try and be like anyone else and don't because... be in don't compete against anyone else mm. be your own person just worry about you do your own thing mm -hmm. try i love tryers you yeah. know it doesn't matter so many people say to me oh my god don't know how you can do that mm. just do it yeah. you know i you know i'm really grateful in my previous company i worked for at Shrada, they really, really focused a lot on social media yeah. and branding and, you know, Gary, for well, example. Well, that's it, because, like, speaking of Strada, they they don't say we're a real... They actually admit we're a marketing agency. Yeah. It's not like a real estate company. We're a marketing, marketing agency. And they are bloody good at what they mm. do. And mm. I honestly think, you know, they're probably number one at the moment in out there in mm. marketing their brand yeah. and that all comes down Shout to, out to Gino Gary yeah amazing <laughs> yeah. guys you know and they're doing amazing and mm. they've done amazing mm. but for me I'm grateful and thankful that Gary especially was very much into branding mm -hmm. get out there it doesn't matter you know yeah. just put yourself put out, out there. there and a lot of them in Strada have gone on and taken his mm. advice a lot of them still should get out there and do a bit more yeah, yeah. Gino obviously is amazing he's mm -hmm. a natural in the camera mm -hmm. You know, and uh, it's working what G for him. Gino just kind of puts his, like, just snippets of his day. Like, I've just got a, phone, a cold yeah. call. Right, let's record it. And, and it's and, real. It's real. That's and Gino. Like I Gino. mean, I know Gino, yeah. so yeah. that's real. That He's not being, he's not trying to mm. be anyone else. That's mm -hmm. Gino. Yeah. He's doing what he's doing mm -hmm. and, he, and he's good at what he, what he's, what what he, he does. does. And he's right. putting it out there. So just be you is number just one. Just be you. Right. Be your true, authentic self. Now, let's just fast forward a little bit. To point number two, you are you and you start putting content out there mm -hmm. and then it flops. Now, by flopping, I mean it doesn't get the views or the number of likes or the engagement or the comments that you want. How does that make you feel? Do you know what? I'm a kind of person, I don't look into all of that. I'll mm. be honest with you. I'm not going to sit there and scroll and look at people's comments. Yeah, I think when the floods were happening, mm -hmm. I did have time on my hands and I went through all the comments and I was getting really heated at some mm. some of the comments. But you know what? It's it's their opinion. Mm -hmm. My opinion's like them. You know, everyone's entitled to an opinion. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, just don't do your thing. Mm -hmm. Stick to what you're doing. Don't read. Obsess don't obsess over, over yeah. what people are thinking, what people mm -hmm. are saying. Who gives a cat yeah. you know you're just being just be your truth and mm. yourself that's what i say but what what might happen is is if you get really low engagement on a particular reel or a particular um post it doesn't matter it might stop you from doing keep that again going. Mm. keep going mm. if you believe in yourself and you think that what you're putting out there is useful is useful mm. doesn't matter what other people are thinking yeah. i think with social media and i think with you as well the more you do the better you become yeah i mean you if know you the compare... more confident Compare, like, just please go and watch. Look at episode... my first one. All right. Bloody yeah. hell. Watch episode awful. one. <laughs> watch episode one of Golden Nuggets with Sylvia Eldawi, and you will see it is like a complete different production mm. in terms of my confidence, the set, the lighting, everything, the cameras, everything but is you've like learned. 10 times better. Now. Exactly. But at the time, it was the dog's bollocks. Yeah. It was amazing. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but now I'm looking back and I'm like, ah. Oh, Oh my God, it's Ainsley's episode. Never, I'll never delete it. But, um, oh. but you do slowly, yeah. slowly progress. And you need to go on that journey do. of levelling up or yeah. glowing up, shall we say, through social media. I think so many people are obsessed about followers. Yeah, vanity you know? metrics. Vanity, so followers, yeah. Just um, likes. So many people will sit views. there. Mm. You know, and look. I mean, I've had people come up and say to me, oh, yeah, I saw you. You didn't get a lot of nice comments or you only did so what mm. i don't care mm -hmm. you know what if you don't like me mm. delete me yeah. unfollow me it's mm. fine you know i'm i do it because i love it mm. i support you i support many people out mm -hmm. there 
And if I don't like something, I'm never rude. I might like it or mm. I might just say, well done, yeah. you know. Sometimes people need that kind of encouragement, mm. you know. Um, but what I will say is be mindful with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Be mindful with what you're saying. Be mindful who you're using mm -hmm. within your... Because many people are using... Um, videographers, agencies. Videographers. For, okay, well, that's point three because you yeah. you might... You might get to the stage where you're not happy with the content yeah. that you're producing and putting out there. Then you get approached by an agency or a videographer because yeah. that's what happens. Yeah. When you start putting out content, your inbox gets flooded with um, mm -hmm. uh, companies reaching out to you, social media agencies telling you, we can get can you more this. followers, yeah. we can get you better content, we can edit your videos. You and it's just, it becomes overwhelming. 100%. But you might start thinking, oh, well, if they're going to get me more followers or if mm -hmm. they're going to help me produce viral content. I'll use them. I'll use I'll them. I'll spend, I'll and put my money in there. I spent. So did I. I, I spent a pretty penny mm -hmm. for quite a while um, on producing content, which didn't feel like me. So yeah. none of it has actually seen the light of day. Yeah. Because I just, I, I, I it just... Wasn't it, you. Was, it wasn't me. So yeah. I, I actually wasted a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. We're talking thousands and thousands and it's all gone in the trash mm -hmm. because nobody can tell me how to be me yeah. um, or what to say. And I don't want, like, I'm, the whole point is, is I'm trying to put my lessons and learnings and, and personality out there. Mm -hmm. Nobody can script that for you. No. Nobody can tell you what to say mm -hmm. or how to say it or yeah. because oh the hook the hook and it's like what a hook what, <laughs> what a hook, who the hook? Who, yeah it's like okay yeah. no the first three seconds have got to be super yeah, and I'm no, like, yeah but that's so not my style exactly so do you dance like a puppet for the show or mm, interesting how, how i mean what's your for experience? me i've i've had my that experience as well i've mm -hmm. used um videographers i've used i've had promises mm -hmm. yeah okay i've had you know the views and the but to be honest with you like you say there's no one like yourself mm -hmm. only you know yourself mm -hmm. and I think what happens is as well another point I want to put it put across is people that are doing this for the views mm -hmm. for the followers to get to how many followers mm -hmm. you've got to keep that maintaining every yeah. month you've got to put that money in Sylvia mm -hmm. you know and you know if you're not making deals and you're not closing mm -hmm. Where are you getting that money from? Yeah. So you might as well just go and do it yourself. Yeah. So I've learned now that, you know what, well, I, I use, I dip in and mm. dip out. Mm. I do it myself and I use different people for mm. different things yeah. as, a, as I go along because it's so important for me to be me. And I don't care if I don't get views yeah. and I don't care if my followers don't go up. Mm. I, for me, I'm just doing it because I'm, I'm Maria. Mm -hmm. I, I do real estate here in Dubai. I've been here a long time mm -hmm. and I can add value to someone buying a property yeah. through honesty and, you know, realness. You mm -hmm. know, I've gone from every experience here. And I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong in using videographers or agencies. Nothing wrong. If you haven't not got the time to yeah. script your content, produce your content, film it. Edit it. It's a full-time job. Put music on it. Yeah. Captions on it. Choose the right time to post and so on. But don't forget what you're trying to achieve. And exactly. And virality is not the end goal. You can... And I've said this before. It's mm -hmm. like, what, what's the point in having... You've got now, what, how many... 15,000 followers Nearly just under 15, yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. You, and you put in, what, a year and a half worth of graph um, to get to I'd that? I'd probably say, yeah, nearly a year, coming up 10 months. And how much does that cost you? Quite a lot. 50,000, 60, Maybe, 50, 60, okay. right. more, maybe. Do you think you've got your return on investment? No. Right, okay, because maybe, and I'd, you, I'm sure you haven't mm -hmm. gone through your list of followers, yeah. but what if they're all um, in the US, for example, and mm -hmm. they're girls between the age of... 20 and 25. Or they have no interest in buying property in Dubai. Waste of, then, waste of time, waste of money, right? isn't it? Because we're not... But I look at you and I think, oh, she's got 14,000 mm -hmm. followers. And that, and I get that as well. Yeah. I, people look at me and I was like, oh, she's got... At the time of publishing, I have about 5,000 followers, <laughs> okay? But yeah. I do not care because... I don't The care. quality of my followers... Yeah. You can't get that anywhere. Exactly. You can't get these people in. Go through my following list. Yeah. <laughs> and show me a better following list. Yes. Because... I've spent 20 years building a reputation and 
being interesting to certain people. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be a clown dancing around or, you know, doing Same. the next viral, yeah. uh, you know, or picking the audio that's trending just to blend in with, yeah. you know, or just to increase. I don't, I'm not here I mean, to impress exactly. in that sense. And mm. I mean, I've done stupid things, Sylvia. I've gone mm. on scooters and gone, wee when I was selling in Dubai Marina. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done silly things, but you know what? I actually like getting on a scooter, mm -hmm. you know, and doing these things. That's me. I, I go to the gym, I, you know, whatever. But I think I would rather have less followers, mm -hmm. but quality. Yes. And I want to be real and mm -hmm. I want real followers and I want to generate good leads. Mm -hmm. I have not, an interest in I have no doing. interest in mm -hmm. buying bots or fake mm -hmm. people. I don't want that. I'd yeah. rather... I'd rather come off social media yeah. then. For me, especially, mm. I'm not a fake person. And anyone that knows me mm. will know she's no way fake. Yeah. Thank you so much, Maria, for all your wonderful tips and experience. And um, I hope it's uh, useful for everyone out there, especially all you real estate agents trying to build your personal brand and get out there on social media. If anyone's got any tips and advice or comments, drop it in the comments section. Let's try and elevate the yeah. uh, social media playground. Yeah, and be you, do you, and be happy. And yeah, thank you so much for having me, Sylvia. My I love pleasure. It. Oh. Lucky girl. <laughs>